I've always been a supporter of Together, but it wasn't until January this year that I saw the power of the organization in action. In Bath, it is actually ground zero for the UK's anti-motoring measures. For example, Bath was the first city to impose a clean air zone, the first city to enforce a blanket 20 mile an hour speed limit, the first city to hike parking charges based on car emissions, and introduce low traffic neighborhoods and resident parking zones with charges based on emissions. We've been guinea pigs for these anti-democratic measures thanks to our zealous Liberal Democratic Council. We decided enough was enough and we wanted to organize a local residents meeting with uh, trades that were suffering, shopkeepers, GP surgeries, and resident disabled groups who now couldn't have access into the historic center of Bath. And we uh, organized a meeting in a local community hall, which was then canceled because we were far right. Bizarre. And that's when Alan and the team stepped in, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. We found a venue in two days. Uh, it became local news that we'd been canceled, which was fantastic publicity. Um, they together helped us secure the venue. We had over 300 people. We had press, we had people from all walks of life. We had a live stream, we were having to turn away people. Uh, Leslie was sending them to the pub to watch the live stream. So uh, to see that in action, that was organized in three days. And we had Ben's team with a, with a fantastic together branding, absolutely incredible. And that's why I then became involved with it together and I've been working with them ever since. Um, we campaigned in Bath all through the local elections. Volunteers lined the roads into Bath with our yellow boards. We were honked, we were cheered. We've caused no end of mischief to the Lib Dems. They absolutely loathe us. I think I'm a far-right Trumpian anti-vaxxer in the local newspaper, so that was nice. I've had to call the police on uh, the cycling lobby. Absolutely charming. But the Lib Dems won. They won in the local elections um, with a very low turnout against the backdrop of strong anti-government sentiment. That's what did for us. We were surprised because we'd re received so much support and together had become very popular in Bath. For a few days we felt like giving up, but after a short while and with the support of the Together team, we decided to redouble our efforts and cause more mischief, which we've been doing ever since. We've challenged the local council to a public debate, but I think we're on day 210 and they're not responding. They won't engage, but we know that we're causing them trouble. And we know that some six months later, after calling for a debate, that we are actually winning the battle. The nasty planters in the main LTN in Bath are due to be disbanded. They're having secret meetings to try and uh, cover up their asses and make it look like a win, but I think they're being removed. Only last week in this LTN, an ambulance got stuck. This is the third time in as many, in three months that this has happened. These are dangerous measures. Um, but what I've really been excited about as well is I've been to the Bristol event, I've been to the, uh, my hometown Edinburgh event, and linking all these together movements, is, it makes our voices louder and has really made the national campaign, uh, given it every chance of winning, and we're certainly doing that in Bath. Thank you.